Well, every 9th of October, Uganda celebrates her Independence Day, and uh, today marks the 60th Independence Day celebrations. A couple of presidents on this African continent are already in the country to be part of this amazing day. Happy Independence Day, fellow Ugandans. This is a remarkable day in the history of Uganda. Otherwise, this is The Buzz UG, and uh, my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fula, and I'm back to keep you posted on the big stories making headlines in the country. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, the long-awaited documentary film that features the campaign trail of NUP President His Excellency Bobby Wine has been launched in London, United Kingdom. Titled Bobby Wine, the Ghetto President, and later renamed the People's President, the film brings to light a span of atrocities orchestrated and conducted by President Museveni's government. Meanwhile, as Bobby Wine was in Dubai being frustrated by authorities right there, the wife Babi Chagulanyi was in London where this documentary was screened the second time. And when she was questioned where the husband was, she reported to the London community what he was going through down in Dubai. Let's briefly listen to Babi Chagulanyi in London, and I'll be back shortly. Bobby just got released from detention where he was held for 13 hours at the immigration in Dubai. Uh, he had gone to Dubai to have a concert to collect funds to transport back the many girls who are stranded in Dubai. We have many young people who go to the eastern part of the world to work as housemates. They are in Qatar, they are in Jordan, they are in Dubai, and most of them get stranded there. So he offered to have a show where all the proceedings would go to a group uh, that organizes their return back for those who are stranded. So it is all political that he was held at the airport for 13 hours. Then when he was released, the show was cancelled. So he is in Dubai. Well, there you go. That's Bobby Chagulanyi, Bobby Wan's wife in London yesterday. Now, the Ugandan embassy in the United Arab Emirates yesterday directed authorities in Dubai to castle the Bobby Wine charity concert that was aimed at raising funds to help in the repatriation of Ugandans stuck in different countries, especially in the Middle East. Now, this statement is from Bobby Wine. It has the main reason why the concert was cancelled and uh, why he was arrested and detained for over 12 hours. Kindly, let's read it together. We have been told that our own embassy authorities told these UAE officials that we are preaching divisive politics and defiance. To my shock, the very government that was able to charter one flight for Museveni's daughter to travel to Germany to give birth for a sickly individual to go for treatment has frustrated our efforts to have our brothers and sisters stuck in detention centers. It's a shame that these individuals claim to be Pan-Africanists. I was detained today at the airport for four good hours. A full bobby wine was not known. Here I am racially discriminated as a black man. I call on all Ugandans to do everything they can, you know, to catalyze the exit of Mr. Museveni. Well, there you go. That's Bobby Wine's statement on the castle concert yesterday in Dubai. 
Now, Ugandan ambassador to Canada, Her Excellency Joy Ruth Acheng, has warned Bobby Wine supporters in that country that she will not tolerate any more hooliganism and smear campaign against President Museveni's government. Most of them want to get asylum by painting an ugly image about Uganda. I will not tolerate that nonsense anymore. My office is open to everyone who wants meaningful conversations, but I won't accept any more hooliganism. Uh -huh. These guys are fighting Bobby Wine left, right and center. I mean, look at Dubai. His corset was castled. Now here comes Ugandan embassy in Canada responding. Before you know it, another Ugandan embassy from another country will respond to the same. <laughs> These guys are not easy, but we are watching and I'll keep you posted right here on the Buzz UG. Now, the Uganda human rights activists have said that President Museveni's government has failed to act on the impunity by security forces. Era ne bavunanwa amangu dalanga we kisoboka ekyo kubera waguru wa mateka kite ko kuwanyisibwa kuba mateka we gali embuga za mateka we ziri court this has ewo about go get debi so ekite ko kitosi ati gena maso kitegeza ati walu impunity tegena maso tegeza anti egwanga beligenda lisebengira mu ngeri yebyo kufuzi ne ngeri mumfuge ya mateka ogena we sanga anti nabata mbaloza ati sokula bwe kyenkoze ati we asuba kungu atako according to the law People who have been arrested should be held in a lawful detention facility, have access to their lawyers, their next of kin, and uh, medical treatment if needed. Tuko wala government obubi inja wono, busa no kufawo, emili mjikolewe, evi tongo levi manjidwe, evi kumadembe nga police, evi gobele la mateka, okusinga wono obubi inja wugenda butonde wawo, obula bikanti wuli wagulu wa mateka. They have also encouraged Ugandans not to give up on demanding for their abducted people and uh, a better Uganda. Tulina kuongera kuongezi kulaba anti, tule mera kumulamwa, era tuja kuongera kumera kumulamwa. Tulina kwe kubide nduru, tulina kwe katunza kusika wazisi noga mati, ya badina anti, mwondi wamu kuteka ansilike. So tulina kwe kubanga wiki soka, wako watu mtu wo, wano gina kupolisi, wano gina mkoti, 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 wano gina they also said if this impunity persists, there is an option of alerting the international community about the human rights abuses. A working group on abuse detentions, Chitongo le cha 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 maonga magate United Nations. We chiyo kolo muri mogo atecho chenda kisana lawyer. Omuti na yena anganzo ba guaso gera na wandi kaya balu wana gavana chio chio chiba deo na gisa ku email netu uka ne ba muwa ubwe kani wale wale government ya kule chini nokola. Egama watu yangu yangu le yamate eka. Well, there you go. That is the latest update I have for you right here on the Buzz UG. And uh, in case you have anything on your mind you want to say about these stories, the comment section is very open for you. But most importantly, subscribe in case you haven't. And also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Audio jungle.